Uh, tough game, tough loss. Um, not much I can say. I thought our guys really battled. Making some strides with effort and focus um, that have been issues to this point. I uh, really love the effort. Our guys battled against a team that's, don't, don't look at their record. They've played an unbelievable schedule. Um, you know, and obviously they saw us wounded a little bit and came in here to get after us. And I thought our guys really stood toe to toe. And it came down to them making plays, and we didn't. We're not making plays. We're not making plays. Miss free throws. Miss free throws over the course of a game have cost us at least three. Defensive breakdowns late. So, um, you know, we've had plenty of opportunity. As wounded as we are, we've got to have guys step up and, and make plays. And then that's what's cost us um, at least at least four of, of, of five losses. teammates just did a better job of finding me, try to make myself more available um, on uh, drawing kicks, stump offs. Um, I was able to get my right hand hook going, but it was mostly just my teammates getting me involved. Let's talk a little about uh, the fans support here and how you know, the fans that uh, brave some of the elements to come up here and support you guys tonight. Big time. I haven't seen uh, 6,500 with the way the roads are. Uh, that, that's great, and we love playing here. Um, it was neat when we finally got them going a little bit in the last four minutes. It got loud. Uh, it's a great environment. Uh, the, our relationship with the Moda Center, the Blazers, and Rose Court, I mean, is awesome. So uh, this, is, this is a real treat for us to come up here, and I thought our guys responded, uh, by and large, to, to the environment. And, you know, we just got to continue to learn and grow. But a great experience up here. And, um, you know, something obviously we want to do every year to pay back our fans and to enjoy this experience. Moving forward, would you like to make it kind of more of that round robin tournament? Maybe you got guys, teams that stick around for a couple of days, or does it not really matter to you soon? Yeah, I mean, that, that would be great ultimately, but um, it, it's tough. It's tough to draw teams here. There's so many tournaments out there, so it's a little bit different. You know, Long Beach plays one game and goes home, South Dakota plays one. But yes, it would be great, um, you know, where you got four teams hanging out and and do that, but uh, you know, we said when we went into year one, we're not sure what this is going to evolve into. But I know that we uh, we love getting up here, and um, we really appreciate the support of all of our fans in this area. Stevie, do you wish you'd gone off the glass when I put back that last one? Uh, uh, I don't. Uh, I think I just short armed it a little bit. Uh, um, think I'm more accurate shooting it straight in, but I just short armed it a little bit, and it was short. Was your intention to miss it and get your own rebound on that? Mm -hmm. No, uh, that wasn't my intention to miss it and get the rebound, but it worked out, got a good look, and uh, just short armed it. You guys seem offensively challenged tonight. Did you feel like you needed to take it upon yourself to create more offense? Uh, at the beginning, uh, we, we were sh uh, struggling a little bit offensively. Uh, the main thing is just got to move the ball more, get more ball movement, then offense will come easier. Coach, have you seen uh, Um, yeah, we, we have. Um, you know, it's it's tough to think about them right now, um, honestly. But yeah, they're a tough team. They play really hard, and well coached. You know, it was great. And again, we've we've got to be really careful with his minutes early on. But he brings a physical edge uh, that we need in the post, so that this guy's not getting the brunt of it all. You know, we put him in late. We we missed a rebound, <laughs> defensive rebound, but. He, kid's a warrior. He's, you know, we ran the one play to look to draw and kick it, get in the post. His man helped. He banged a big three. So, you know, there's bright days ahead when we get him to be 100%. It had to be frustrating for you to you know, double team the entire, especially in the first half. Were you getting frustrated not being able to get the ball? Um, yeah, I mean, I was getting a little bit frustrated, but I've been dealing with it the past, uh, I mean, pretty much all season for the most part. So I just, when I get double teamed, my main focus is just, just to get it out to our shooters and they'll knock down threes all night.